newly crowned Premier of Tasmania, Will Hodgman, thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. Last time you were here, you uh, were far from it, so it's been a long few years. Yeah, it has. Um, eight years as opposition leader. I think that shows, if nothing else, that I'm determined that I'm, I'm, I'm not a quitter. No, no. Uh, so finally, a couple of weeks ago, the results are in. And the, I understand the last 24 hours here in Braddon, you've broken some records. Yeah, look, uh, four seats out of five, which has never happened before, and fantastic result. And people obviously want change, so it's now our job to deliver it. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Obviously, you know, the result is people in Tasmania want change. And I guess the question you're always going to be asked is, are we going to get it? And how are you going to do it? Yeah, look, we are going to change things, and we need to. I mean, yep. Tasmania is a wonderful place, but we've got to accept there are some massive challenges. And we've never said we've got all the answers, mm-hmm. and you know, it's going to be easy, but we've got a plan. And it's one about growing our economy, fixing the budget, yep. reinvesting in essential services so that people all across Tasmania know they can get kids to a good school, to a good hospital. You know, we've got good police services, and giving Tasmanians a majority government is important because we can do all that mm. and implement our plan mm. without being held to ransom by a minor party. Look, and on your acceptance speech on the election night, you did say, look, we are going to make mistakes. We are only human. And that's the best you can do, isn't it? I mean, you're going to do your best until you stuff up, and you're just going to have to move on. It's yeah. a bump in the road. You've got to be honest and accept that you know, it's going to be a tough tough few years ahead of us. Um, we're well prepared, and the team we've got are fantastic and so enthusiastic, so I'm really proud of getting to this point, but we recognise the work starts now. And what about our seat of Braddon? It's a, it's an interesting seat, isn't it? Quite large geographical areas, aren't they? And uh, so we've got lots to work within our dedicated area, which is really exciting for the Liberals. Yeah, look, it actually stretches geographically right down to my electorate, Franklin, which is mm. the southernmost electorate. Yeah. goes all the way down the west yeah. coast. So we're actually neighbours. I feel like I'm very much part of this fantastic <laughs> electorate. Haven't come far at all, have you? <laughs> no, just gone next door. All right, let's go federal. Obviously, uh, you would have heard about the British honour system being brought back in into uh, Australia after it was abolished nearly 30 years back uh, by the Hawke government. Uh, Here are some words from our current Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, and I'll have a quick listen to this. I consulted with uh, a number of senior colleagues. Uh, I took some soundings uh, in the community, but uh, in the end it was my recommendation to the Queen, which... uh, she graciously accepted. All right, there we go. But we've got some words on a local front from somebody that's very outspoken. Uh, Hobart lawyer, Republican Greg Barnes. I'll tell you one thing about this order. Politicians won't be able to help themselves because they love, a lot of them, the idea of, uh, of taking some form of accolade and they just love the idea of a title. So you can bet your bottom dollar that you'll see politicians queuing up. They've got the insecurity and so they feel a need to have these sorts of, as I said, trinkets and baubles. Well, you seem pretty level-headed to me. <laughs> Will you be queuing up to uh, get knighted? No, but I've got to say, Greg Barnes is a wannabe politician. (laughs) He's stood for so many parties. I mean, it's a bit rich for him to be criticising pollies, but... Oh, look, I don't see a day when someone says arise, uh, Sir Will. Um, I, look, my father would have loved it. He would be all over this like a rash. I'm yep. actually a bit of a Republican, <laughs> so I'll let the PM make his own call. But I don't think we'll be having a state-based uh, system okay. here. Okay. Well, despite that, uh, today's your day. Today's your day, Will. We would like to crown you... Sir Willie. Well, I can't second thoughts. I'm and we with... ask that you accept this crown and cape in the hope that you'll honour this title each time you visit us here at CFM. Quite liking the sound of this now. Oh, you've got your own theme music here. Yes. You've got the cape. Oh, there I we actually, go. I He's, can't actually stand up. That's but... fine. You can take it off now if you like. Take the headphones off. You need a big W on your T-shirt. That could draw some criticism. <laughs> there we go. I hereby declare you Sir Willie. <laughs> it's, it's got a ring to it, isn't it? It does. Congratulations. <laughs> this is all very formal, isn't it? Thank I think you weren't you. expecting this. Look, uh, on behalf of us all here at CFM and obviously in the seat of Braddon, congratulations. You've uh, made it top dog and we look forward to seeing what Liberals can do. My pleasure. Thank you for having <laughs> me on the show.